ever have I seen in my career 95% failure rate uh, in terms of failing to return ROI back to the business. So I can't believe I'm saying this in 2025, but it, it's worth saying again. Uh, truly transformative AI solutions require deeply understanding client needs and aligning with specific business goals. Can't stress that enough. And I'm not sure why the business has fallen out of favor in terms of what you look at first before applying the technology. But I think what is happening now is that the consulting firms are so focused on frameworks and processes and uh, technology bundles that they created around, you know, certain partner, uh, you know, partner deals that they have, that the business goals seem to be secondary. And so in other words, it's pushing a particular technology pattern, technology framework that is being marketed as solving all business problems. And therefore, whatever business problem you have, we're going to be able to solve it. That's never going, never going to be the case. And I think that's why we're seeing lack of some of the ROI gains that are occurring out there is because people are doing square pegs around holes with many of these different frameworks and different technology offerings, and it's not working. And further, it's not working, you know, at a cost of five to 10 times that of a traditional systems. AI is extremely expensive. It takes specialized processors. If you're running on a cloud, it's extremely uh, you know, resource intensive. Um, that's all fine if you're able to solve a particular business problem where those resource source expenditures will be able to pay for themselves. But what's what's happening now? They're just using technology for technology's sake, and that that never ends well. That seems to be a common problem. We seem to come back to about every you know, five to 10 years, and we're seeing it right now in a big way. And in my big bugaboo, the reliance on technical success metrics instead of business impact causes misaligned priorities and disappointing results. In other words, you know, auditing projects, I look at this and I, and I say, okay, are you using a Gentech-based framework, you know, to solve an inventory depletion problem or a supply chain integration problem? And it's not necessarily delivering the value. And the team will come back with this comeback. Well, it works. <laughs> okay, I get it. It works. You can make anything work, so it work with enough time and money. You know, but is it optimized to return business value? Is it finding a particular use case where the AI systems are going to generate revenue for the company, going to generate value for the company? Never have I seen in my career 95% failure rate uh, in terms of failing to return ROI back to the business, that's hugely disappointing. That's basically people who are not trying. And in many cases, the big consulting firms are leading some of these projects, and I think they're leading many of their clients in the wrong direction.